Let's talk about Start CC and CC settings in EasyCAD. This is our desired uh, engraving with where this is a uh, material we're taking out and this material which remains. We do want to have it as crisp as possible uh, to have a high definition on small details. Here's a problem. If you uh, apply laser on 100%, it actually carves out the crater of approximately this shape. So when you engraving small details, instead of a uh, nice square, you're going to have shape like this, if uh, star TC is set at zero. With very short star TC, instead, again, instead of having uh, nice small details, we're going to have a mess like this. So these settings is meant to fix this problem. And what it does is it's making sure that 100% happened here on a safe distance from uh, our engraving detail. So it ramps up power from a small to high over period of time. So these settings is depend at speed of your engraving. If your speed is slow, your start and end TC uh, have to be set uh, for longer period. When you engrave fast, you can shorten it. So that's how start TC and TC works. So let's go and fire up on a laser and see how it can affect our engravings. Looking at these results, looks like using a uh, star TC at zero, which is the first square, is much better than you star TC of, in this case, 500. You can see the effect of ramping up. That's pretty drastic. So, but let's try to do something with a lot of small details and see how our results going to look then. Okay, what we have here is a vector image consisting of about, uh, I th think it's a 300,000 small details. If I would be using a start and end TC of zero, I would have just purely blank square. So, in order to get comparison, we will start from somewhat reasonable number of 100. And as we can see, this image is not brilliant, it's completely bridged out, uh, 100 uh, started NTC, it's just simply uh, too small. Let's change it to, let's say, 120. Okay. Start and NTC settings are changed from 100 first image to 120 rest of settings are absolutely identical. Okay, our contrast is much better, but I still would say it's a little bit bleached. So let's see how far we can uh, push it before uh, hashing, hatching will fail. And on such small details, if your sta start and end TC settings are too high, it may just simply stop working at some point. I'm not very confident about this version, uh, but 130, let's see what's going to happen.
Okay, some argument can be made that it's maybe too much, and it's entirely possible. Uh, just for fun, let's see if we can do just one more on 127. Okay, uh, start to see NTC setting 127. Uh, fire and a hole. Okay, here we are. First image. All these changes was made only by changing start TC and TC settings. First image, 100. Second image, 120. Third image, 130. And the last image, 127. Just to show you the power and importance of the settings. I do hope that uh, this information uh, was helpful in your engraving endeavors, so have fun and I will see you next time. Thank you!